Olivia Rodrigo is here today with Can't Catch Me Now. It's a song that's been out for quite a while, but I've just come across it. I found compared to her pop music, there was an eeriness about it that I felt would go very well with the theme this weekend of songs I'm releasing, because I've just done one by Ivor from the Faroe Islands. And then when I came across this, I thought, let's review this. If there's one thing that Olivia Rodrigo can do is tell a good story, and that's exactly what she does in this single, Can't Catch Me Now. In this surprise collaboration, the Hunger Games franchise for the, for the movie, The Ballad of the Songbirds and Snakes, Rodrigo released the song, Can't Catch Me Now, where she tells the story of a complex relationship between the two main characters of the novel, Lucy Gray Baird and Carlina Snow. Despite the fact that these characters' relationship stretches over the entire novel, Rodrigo is able to catch her, the essence of it in just a three-minute song. She truly cap capsulates the spirit of Lucy Gray Bayard as she sings. You'll feel it all around. I'm here, I'm there, I'm everywhere, the lyrics say, but you can't catch me now. Throughout the entirety of the Hunger Games series, we see pieces of Bayard's legacy living on through Katniss Everdeen, the protagonist of the original series in her rebellion. And Rodrigo has a beautiful way of capturing that legacy in this song. Some fans have also speculated that the song is supposed to relate to Rue, R-U-E, a tribute from the first novel and her influence on Katniss and the rebellion. To make the song even more meaningful, Rodrigo's idol and one of her musical inspirations, Taylor Swift also wrote a song for the franchise called Safe and Sound. Similar to Swift's ballad, Rodrigo's vocals, as you're going to hear, are beautiful as they are haunting. And it truly gives the song a dystopian feeling which fits the genre of the novels. Ultimately, anyone who is a fan of the Hunger Games series is going to be a fan of this song. Whilst Rodrigo's two albums have displayed her impressive vocal range to date, it's obvious that some styles fit her voice better than others. And I definitely think this song in particular highlights her voice. She sings in a soft voice that progressively strengthens as she builds up to the bridge of the song. She utilizes a multitude of harmonies during the bridge as she sings, you can't, you can't catch me now. I'm coming like a storm to your town, she says. You can't, you can't catch me now. I'm higher than the hopes that you brought down. She continues to repeat these verses over and over again. And she increases the harmonies with each cycle, creating that unique nostalgic sentiment, which transports any listener back to the 12, 012 golden age of dystopian book to movie adaptions. Can't Catch Me Now is, as I've said previously, unlike any song she's released, rather than her usual pop heartbreak ballads that normally make you want to sing, cry or dance, this song is slightly eerie. It stays with the audience long after the final notes are played, just as Biard's legacy continues with the characters of the novels. So let's see if that has the same effect on you. And I'll give you a summary of this song again, straight after we listen to Can't Catch Me Now. There's blood on the side of the mountain There's writing all over the wall Shadows of us are still dancing In every room and every hall Snow falling over the city You thought that it would wash away The bitter taste of my fury And all of the messes you made Yeah, you think that you got away But I'm in the trees, I'm in the breeze My footsteps on the ground You'll see my face in every place But you can't catch me now through waiting grass, the months will pass You'll feel it all around I'm here, I'm there, I'm everywhere But you can't catch me now No, you can't catch me now I bet you thought 
but I'd never do it. Thought it'd go over my head. I bet she figured I'd pass with the winter, be something easy to forget. Oh, you think I'm gone 'cause I left, but I'm in the trees. I'm in the breeze. My footsteps on the ground. You'll see my face in every place, but you can't catch me now. Through waiting grass, the months will pass. You'll feel it all around. I'm here, I'm there, I'm everywhere, but you can't catch me now. No, you can't catch me now. I have to say from the heart, if you closed your eyes, you would probably feel that was Billie Eilish singing. It just goes to prove the crossovers today in music that, and how Billy, in a way, has influenced so many singers subconsciously. I'm not saying that Olivia went out to do that, but there is an overture there. Would you not agree, even if you're an Olivia fan? Which is something of a positive thing I'm saying. I'm not saying it in a negative way. Trust me on that. But when it comes to the meaning, catch me now that Hunger Games it's a song that captures it really does Lucy Gray's haunting presence in Carolina Snow's life even after she's left because it symbolizes it is symbolized sorry by that particular line that repeats itself and you can't catch me now the imagery of being in the trees and that's why I like this lyrical video because it, it transports you into nature whereas the official video I felt would have gotten people a, a little bit distracted but I just felt this was more to do with Olivia's voice the eeriness and nature and the imagery in the trees and the breeze and everywhere for me that speaks to Lucy Gray's elusive and mysterious nature because that's what she had and that's what Olivia is connected to as she said and keeping her influence alive by doing a video like this a lyrical video in nature I think very much harmonizes with all you know the serious Olivia the Hunger Games all of it the defiance in the lyrics paired with the reference to a storm when we go back to the character of Lucy Gray it, it's about being a force to be reckoned with breaking free from constraints and that assertiveness of her power to do so the song by Olivia serves as a reminder of the impact a, a person can have even long after they're gone leaving a lasting mark on those around them thank you Olivia I really enjoyed the song now from genius lyrics I came across a few fun facts that we'll just wrap up with from Olivia talking about this now it might repeat on what we've just said but my video is done now but some interesting facts it says 
Can't Catch Me Now plays during the credits of the Hunger Games prequel, the movie, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. And Rodrigo revealed in an interview with Entertainment Tonight that the lyrics are written from the perspective of the character Lisa Graves we've discussed, played by Rachel Zegler. It was a wonderful experience, she quoted, to try and write something from the character of Lucy Gray. She's a character I feel very connected to. Now, the song references many moments in the story. The main point of the song being that Lucy Gray haunts, as I've just mentioned and summarized, Colina Snow, seven years after she's out of his life. The song's tone is as much taunting as it's mysterious. Its ending suggests as we've discussed, Katniss Everdeen becomes another example of how Lucy Gray continues to affect his life. Now, the video itself, it shows it in locations on the movie, the official, mainly running through the field in Sydney in the cabin. It also features clips of snow and the yard in the movie, which is nice, but I felt this lyrical video had that eeriness. I just did. And finally, when they asked me, Olivia said, if I was interested in writing for this, I was like, oh, of course, I'm such a fan of everything Hunger, Hunger Games. One of the last scenes was very inspiring to me, she said. I don't know how to describe it without giving too much away. It's an overhead shot of a bunch of birds in the trees and something very important just happened. That was playing in a loop in my head over and over. And I was like, I want to write a song that captures what that feeling is that was the goal well it was it succeeded because during the track week the song debuted at the beginning 56 in the billboard 100 chart and that chart marked rodriguez 14th appearance on the one on the hot 100 14th appearance in 2023 well we're in 2024 catching up here on my channel but you'll be back and thank you for listening don't forget to comment, like and subscribe.